this video, I'm gonna make art using only one color. A color that's rich, lush, and vivacious. That's right, green! Now this video has been done before by a few other YouTubers, such as this person, and this person, and even this person. Yes, that person is me. I made a video not too long ago using only pink art supplies, and I had so much fun that I just have one thing to say. I, I want to do that again, cause it was fun. So, it's time to grab the color of my childhood heroes like the Ninja Turtles, Kermit the Frog, and Blanca from Street Fighter. That's right, it's time to get green. All right, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna paint and I know just who to ask. Instagram Live, what's up y'all? I need your help in determining what I should paint on this painting using only green. Give me some ideas. Jungle in the night, a watermelon. Your version of Little Shop of Horrors plant. Bulbasaur, the alien version of Hulk. A moldy banana playing the banjo. Ten Hun character with an alligator hoodie. Martian, a fireman fighting a ferocious fire. Ninja Turtles for sure. Nick, get off the live. Ow. Oh. A rhino eating ice cream. A carnivorous plant. Godzilla. Crocs. Slimer from Ghostbusters. Swamp Thing also could work. My pink painting was kind of swampy. Druids around a glowing orb. Ooh, that's fire. A T-Rex drinking green tea. Yoda. Yoda again. Hex yes. A gelatinous cube overtaking green army men in a kid's room. Is somebody using like a random prompt generator for these? We're seeing some people mentioning Gox, who's another artist YouTuber who absolutely hates the color green. Yoshi. Gooey science experiment exploding out of a vat. The Last Supper with frogs. I will not be painting another Last Supper anytime soon. <laughs> a green shark. Guacamole. There's literally going to be a thousand things in this painting, I think. Kryptonite, little baby green poo. Uh, we're gonna sign off. Thank you guys so much for all your awesome suggestions. Green! Ooh, inspiration in my fist. The fans' ideas are on this list. That's a poem. I got a list of ideas right here. And with these ideas, I'm going to start a sketch of something. <laughs> it's a list of genius or insanity, however you want to look at it. I, I got a lot of stuff to go on here, so I'm going to grab my iPad and make a concept sketch of what this painting is going to be. Let's go. I think any artist watching this video can relate to the feeling of not knowing what to draw or what to paint. That's why it's so cool to be able to turn to you guys and just get a deluge of ideas. I wasn't stuck with no idea. I was stuck with too many ideas. Where do I start? I kind of just randomly picked a rhino eating ice cream as my starting point and went from there. Once I had my central figure started and in place, I was able to work my way down the list and pick and choose cool ideas that I could turn into visual elements in this all green painting. After I did my all pink painting in the last video in this series, I wanted each of my single color paintings to fit a similar visual aesthetic. So I did this frame within a frame background similar to my pink painting. Okay, sketch, looking good. Super hyped on the way this thing came out. I used a ton of you guys' ideas. I have, first of all, the rhino eating ice cream. I got a T-Rex going here. I have the plant from the Little Shop of Horrors. A chameleon, I got Slimer from Ghostbusters. There's a Gox shout out, an alien, Baby Yoda, Crocs, a jungle scene, Yoshi. <laughs> Freaking yeah, I mean, there's just so much going on here that you guys gave me on this list. My sketch is finally done. For those of you who think I just sit down and just knock this out, this sketch took me two days to complete. I don't just sit down and become an inkjet printer and just <laughs> draw it out immediately. It takes me some time, but it is done. And now I have to take my panel and gesso this thing. I ran out of pre-gessoed panels, which I like to work on because I'm lazy. So I'm going to have to take this guy and gesso it to get it ready to be painted. The all green painting is on the horizon. I can see it through the green mist hovering over the green mountains we must prepare for the journey of green that lays before us yeah. grab the panel slice it quickly 
What's that? What's that? Hiding in the bushes, oh that's Nikki. Send, send, send it down, get it, get it smooth. Get, get, get prepared, cause we gon' do just what we do. Just so, just so, wipe it down, yeah. My favorite white liquid in the cottage cheese cup, 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 cup. Seal the wood and prep the pan on my dog. Bay and just so go together like London goes with fall. Our supply wraps, man, I murdered the booth. I am, I am sending down the just so, cause we working with tooth. I, I, I put the concept in the acrobat so I can print it, chop it up, and then I transfer that. Oh. Okay, I got my concept art printed out. Now, let's transfer it on this panel. I cut my concept art out and taped it together. Then I grabbed this for all transfer paper and laid it out on the panel. Then I put my concept art on top of that. Now whenever I do this in videos, people always tell me to print out the concept art with a lower opacity so I can see where I've already traced. But when I do that, my printer does not print the concept art correctly, so I use a colored pen. It's probably because I refuse to refill any ink except pure black, and printer ink is like the biggest ripoff of all time, so I refuse to buy the colors, but the colored pen works just as good. All right, this little cutie pie is all transferred. Now it's time for me to start toning the panel. I'm gonna take a watered down acrylic, turn it into a saucy soupy consistency, do a light wash over this guy, but this is the green video. And I'll give you three guesses what color I'm gonna tone this panel. Coral. Red. Yellow. If you guess green, you are 100% correct. Oh. Let's tone this panel so I can turn this green machine into a Thing that's cool. <laughs> I watered down this color called Green Gold by Golden Brand Acrylics. Definitely giving me some nice chartreuse vibes. Okay, my panel is toned. Can you guys hear the rain on the metal roof? It's kind of a beautiful sound. And on rainy days, we paint. I'm gonna start with the background on this guy. Man, whenever I make a painting, it seems like the prep work is literally like more than half <laughs> of what you have to do to make a painting. But it's sanded, it's gessoed, it's transferred, it's toned, and now we paint. Hey, while I paint this background, I'm gonna let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Listen, Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. And with Squarespace, it's super easy. They have these award-winning templates where all you gotta do is take your awesome content, drop it into their beautiful templates, and boom, you have a website. As an artist, I've been using Squarespace for years and years, like probably getting close to a decade now. I love their easy online shops, that's where I sell my merch. I love their image galleries where I can host my art portfolio. They have members only areas, subscription products. They honestly have so many features that I probably only use like 10% of them. Their websites are dope and easy. But if you ever do run into any issues, they also have 24 seven customer support. So what are you waiting for? If you have a big dream that you wanna share with the world, a great way to do that is with your very own website. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. Oh yeah, after many a tiny detail, I have completed the background. Got some fuzzies on here. And now it's time to start painting all this crazy shenanigans that's going on with my main character. But with only green, can I create separation and definition and contrast between all this crazy stuff going on? That's the challenge, I suppose. The green only challenge. Let's get painting. For those of you who've seen my channel before, or perhaps seen my artwork in other places, you know that I could be described as an artist who's obsessed with color. I generally make art that could be described as saturated or vivid, and if you ask me what my favorite color is, I would just say all of them. That's why these monochromatic paintings are so fun and interesting to me. Limiting myself to one single color really makes me focus on value, 
composition, and exploring the wide variety of hues you can get from one single color. I'm absolutely the kind of artist that thinks that limiting yourself and taking away options and imposing challenges is an amazing way to get inspiration and just come up with new ideas. Working within this green confine is not a confine at all. It's like a way to break your mind free. They say the human eye can see more shades of green than any other color. And I think in this painting, <laughs> I'm gonna use them all. Hey, remember in the last video when I made this super epic pink only painting? Well, so many of you guys down in the comments said you would really like a print of that. So I went ahead and got some really nice gicle prints made of this guy. This one is the 16 inch by 20 inch gicle print, and this one is the 11 inch by 14 inch. They're all signed. It's an edition of 500. Each one is gonna be numbered. Archival inks on museum quality paper, gicle print is just like, ooh. These are on my website right now, tenhun.com. Shout out to Bellevue Fine Art Reproduction for printing these for me, they look beautiful. Also, we have a few of these shirts left. These come in black and also natural. Black, natural, black, natural. Looking super good. These guys have been selling like hotcakes, but I think there is still a few of each size left. Over time, I'm hoping to do an entire series of these like single color paintings. So yeah, really nice prints, relatively affordable international shipping is available. 1000art.com. Check it out. Okay, let's get back to the painting. DJ Green Rhino. Drop the Uber Euro Techno beat. painting of Slimer is like less than one centimeter. So tiny. Imagine a world with one single color. If you could only see one, which would you choose? I don't always feel this way about a painting before it's done, but I freaking love this thing. I'm like already imagining when I have every single color painting done and I have a full rainbow gallery hanging on my wall. That's gonna be sick. In the dark jungle, through the green mist, we will keep exploring. We will take the risk. Climb the green mountain. It's a sight unseen. In the world around you, all you see is green. We paint with green now, the greatest color of them all. We hit that green now, breathe in deep and then we draw. We paint with green now, the greatest color of them all. have baby Yoda left and then it's finally done. Now I'm already thinking which color should I do next? Do you like it? Yeah, I'm painting. Painting. Green. Green. Yeah. Oh yes, well. I have finished my green painting. I am feeling super good about this one. Super freaking good. <laughs> The all green painting is done. I'm just about to show you guys the final sexy shots, but first I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button. I would freaking love that. Earlier I mentioned that the pink gicle prints are available on my website. Yes, that is true, tenhun.com, but also the green prints are gonna be up there for pre-order. As you're watching this right now, this thing is traveling out to Bellevue, Washington to be professionally scanned and to be printed. I'm gonna do a, another edition of 500 prints so if you're over there picking up the pink print you can pre-order the uh, the green print too it's gonna be sick but I guess you guys probably want a little bit of a closer look at this here green painting and I'll oblige without further ado the final sexy green shots
If you stuck around this far, let me know down in the comments, do you like the green one better or the pink one better? Okay, bye.